Good morning, folks. Quick curiosity update. NASA asserts that they didn't get lucky or pick a perfect drilling spot when they found the ingredients for life. They say they could have pretty much drilled anywhere and hit star water. Tough to see much bad news in this article. I think the percentage increase in technological efficiency raised about the same level. Happening as we speak, the spent fuel pools at Fukushima and their makeshift cooling systems are malfunctioning. We're going on 18 hours now with no cooling water. The situation continues. Advanced observers, it's just this simple. For four days, we waited for the southern red coronal hole to open up and face Earth. Yesterday, it became clear that wouldn't happen, and after a minor contraction of the umbral field around the green opening, the field spread in a perfect center Earth-facing position. As of this morning, it is just exiting magnetic geo-effectiveness, but not before a parting shot to the South Sandwich Islands. It's the first significant quake since the last magnetically geo-effective coronal hole set off PNG. Also had a quake southwest of Iceland that is well above normal there. Yesterday I showed the above average Canary Islands quake. It turned the very normal one quake per day average there into a little swarm. Okay, a moderate swarm. Okay, let's just hope this is as harsh as it gets. The rumblings are still small. Buoy watching. Speaking of PNG, one buoy close deviated from its normal curve slightly yesterday, but is not major. This Alaskan buoy has had undeniable error readings in the past. These are less extreme. It's just tough to ascertain truth here. Had some tornadoes in unusual places yesterday. New Zealand's had a few, actually. But none where we expected them. Not that the storm wasn't intense. One isolated hailstorm caused damage in the millions in the span of about four minutes. More coming tonight. The tornadoes will return soon. Europe takes the final top weather story. The low settling over most of the continent has brought severe weather to the northern edge across multiple countries, and this one might be there a while. You remember yesterday? We said there were a number of smaller eruptions on the sun from the day before. Well, SOHO Lasco C3 is updated, and they appear to have many directions covered. NASA's endless spiral shows a glancing glow to Earth later this week, with NOAA's endless spiral confirming a Thursday impact, one that is very weak and I wouldn't expect much magnetic disturbance. The Earth footprint is tough to see because it is just behind the limb trailed by a bunch of active regions. On the right you can see the connection lines breaking left across the spots, so we can expect the footprint to cross these sunspots back to the Earth facing disk in the next few days. The sun is still popping. The last day was light on Earth-facing eruptions, but we did catch this off the southeastern limb, and the backside is certainly active. Now, even though the umbral field completely prevented that large southern coronal hole from being geo-effective magnetically, the solar wind stream spread and is likely to impact Earth today or tomorrow, although the angle suggests it will also be a weak impact. We have active regions departing. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.